Hello and welcome to Monday. Um, yesterday we talked about Apple computers, but at the end of the vlog I said that we needed to come um, back to the vet to uh, have Sagan's tongue checked um, just to make sure that uh, everything was going okay. Um, that was the idea of the, the, the doctor, not us. It was just like, hey, a make sure. Yeah, it's a follow up. Thank you. That's that's the word I was trying to get to. And um, Sagan, Sagan's tongue has been bothering him. Like every once in a while, he'll just kind of. And sometimes it gets to him so bad, like he runs out of the room. So um, the doctor actually took a look and was able to see that there was still a stitch in there and managed to get it. And that's what's been bothering Sagan is that there's been a tiny little stitch in his tongue still. And it's been. You know, occasionally he'll feel that he's getting poked and he doesn't know what's going on, and she was able to pull it out. So that should stop that. However, because uh, 2017 is the year of sickness for everyone, um, Mallory, myself, and of course the cats included, his ears have been bothering him uh, more so than usual. So I mentioned that, and she said, "Okay, well we'll take a look." So they swabbed inside and they tested it. And they're like, uh, Sagan has an ear infection. And I was like, well, that sounds familiar. Because I've had how many ear infections already in 2017. And they're like, you know, that's really odd. Cats don't normally get ear infections, but, you know, we'll give you some, some drops for it. And, uh, you know, we're on our way home now. So it's just, it's sucky. <laughs> I mean, he had this thing on his tongue, which we took care of. And now he has an ear infection. I've had several ear infections. Mouse had a root canal. I had an organ out. And like, you know, June is not over. We're not even technically to the second half of 2017. What the heck is going on? It's uh, it's really added up. Not only the financial stress of it, but also the you know the physical stress of it. Uh, I really hope, really hope that the rest of 2017. Is a little nicer than uh, than this first half. What you working on? Cutting up tomatoes. Well, I mean that that much I'm aware of, but what's the purpose? Making salsa. Salsa. We have all these tomatoes, and we're going out of town. And they'll go bad. Yeah. But if we make salsa, they'll not go bad. We'll probably eat them faster. That's true. I mean, you it's hard to find stuff to do with all these cherry tomatoes. Because there's a lot. But salsa is fine. And it kind of sucks that they're cherries to cut up. Yeah, you got to be really careful. <laughs> but the payoff will be great. How long does it take to make salsa? I mean, I just got to chop everything up and mix it together. Okay, well, I'm... I'm it's a garden salsa, so it's all like fresh things. Ooh. I'm excited about that. Well, if nothing else, it's beautiful, Mal. Thank you. So you got that going for it. And uh, there's a recipe that people can check out in the description so they can look at that. Give it a shot. Mal, you said the recipe called for Romas and we use cherries. That's like, like the only big difference. It wanted three jalapenos and I used one. <laughs> That's fine. And um, I accidentally bought the wrong onion, but I don't think that's a problem because I used a Vidalia instead of a red onion. Salsa, salsa. Give yep. it a shot. What's it like? Besides a crumbly mess. Is it good? Is it fresh? Mm hmm. You really are dropping it everywhere. It's very good. Very fresh. I like traditional salsas that are more like pureed. Saucy. Mm -hmm. But I like garden salsa like that too. It's good. Uh, I don't. I don't have it very often either. So that's like the first time that I know of <laughs> that I've had um, hikama. What'd you say? Hikama. Hikama. What is? Hikama. What is that? Disney. Oh, that weird fruit that you made us buy. It's a legume. Oh. It's in the legume family. But I checked because I found that out after I bought it, and I was concerned because peanuts are legumes and I'm allergic. Yep. And people are like, I eat hikama. 
and I have a peanut allergy and I'm okay. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I bought and he just didn't come on. And if you're not okay, I'm sure we'll know soon. Hmm. That's the crunchy thing in there. It looks like an onion. Oh, okay. It supposedly tastes like turnips. Oh. Huh. But you can eat it raw. I don't really know what a turnip tastes like, to be, to be quite honest. Um, anyway, that is it for today. And um, I know that it might seem weird because you're like, why would you end the day? It's like daylight outside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's... um. We took Sagan to the vet on Monday, but it's actually currently Tuesday. Um, we, uh, <laughs> the last thing that happened is we, we stayed up um, working all night because we took Sagan to the vet, but then we came back and slept and got like a full night's rest, and then we woke up at night. We have worked through the night, and uh, now it's day and we're getting ready to sleep. So our sleep schedule's a little off, but that's all right. We'll get it fixed before we leave for our trip. Um, the big thing was that... Um, before Mal started working on the salsa, we took the vehicle over to the mechanic just to get everything looked at. We're going on a, on a long road trip. We're taking my vehicle, our vehicle, and I just want to make sure everything's, you know, working before we before we go. Uh, we're gonna have uh, the tires rotated because we haven't done that done in a while. Um, we're gonna have the oil changed because it needs the oil changed anyway, and then also just. You know, have someone who knows about vehicles look at the vehicle, you know, look at the brakes, make sure everything's cool, because it's a long way. We're going to put easily 2,500 miles on the car just in the next, you know, little bit. So I want to make sure everything's fine. So we'll get a call from them later today when we're up, hopefully. And hopefully everything is going to be okay with the car. I think you need a new cat tree, don't you? You need a, a new scratching post. I think that one's a little worn out. You had that when you was a kitten. And it's shedding pretty badly. Thanks for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow. Shall we?